come over here to Voter Resource tab, and when you're at the Voter Resource tab, uh, assuming you know your address, if, you if you've already registered to vote, great. If not, you might want to look there. Um, you can come here to the New District Locate tool. Click there. And when you click there, you'll come over here and you can type in your address. Now notice, this is a place that's in North Pole, Alaska, but it's House District 3, Senate District B, Farmers Loop 2, the First Precinct. So there you go, you have an idea. And if you want to take a look at the satellite map just to make sure that you've got the right place, and there indeed it is. So from there, you're going to want to go um, over here to PPP locations once you know your house district. Now, if you're not in town that day, if you're visiting, say for example, you're on business in uh, Lower Hillside or in Eagle River, then you can come down here to Area 26 and you can, even though you live in District 3, you can vote in any of these. The difference is that your ballot won't be counted until the next day. So you won't appear in the early morning totals, but you will appear in the final totals. Anyway, you come here, it'll tell you your location. And if you take a look, quite a few districts are all in one location. Take some time now to review the 2012 Presidential Preference Poll Voter Information Card and make sure you have all the information you need. Once you turn in your voter information card, you'll be given an Alaskan Republican ballot. On there, you will have five choices. There are four candidates plus one unpledged. So if you support a candidate who's not on the ballot, you would have to circle unpledged. There will be no write-in campaigns or write-in candidates. Remember, voting in your presidential preference poll is easy, it's fun, and it's free. Come on down and make sure we have a successful preferential preference poll. And if you don't come down and vote, then you can't be mad about who the nominee is.